back. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about uh, some things in regards to the Serial Effect Generator, uh, the mock-up that I'm building. This is one of the rollers that I've already created numerous times uh, in the past, my other videos. And they're all, they are all magnetized together. So right here, I have this magnetic viewing, viewing film. It's like a real flat surface and a real glossy surface to view fields. Um, I've done with these magnets here. This is your typical speaker magnet, 316 cents, inch and a quarter. And then I took another one and put grooves in it, change around the parameters of the field. I'll show that in a second. And this is a neodymium ring uh, that I put just these notches in with a diamond cutoff wheel. It also changes around the parameters of the field. So as you can see here, you have your top and bottom layers. That's the magnet, obviously. Top and bottom layers put on this magnet here. You can see there's actually kind of a wave on it. See that? It's not all symmetrical like the other form of magnet. The field goes up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. Just by putting these grooves, obviously here it was kind of angled. And the neodymium is what I wanted to show off. So as you can see, it's slotted. And then in here you get, so you kind of see. Multiple little poles going on. Yeah, this one really stretches the, the way it looks, especially on the top and bottom. This field is just going up and down and up and down. Um, the other thing I'd like to show that I'm working on is designing a magnetic field that has a sine wave in it, just like Searles. Of course, he didn't cut magnets to do that. He imprinted the fields using specialized coil, coils and energizers. This is just ring magnets that are cut and put together. But with it, you do get your wave. Up and down and up and down. This is cop copper, and it's not going to be used in the experiment or what I'm trying to show. <laughs> uh, this is copper rings that I use for my rollers. And these are some of the magnets that I came out with. This is a traditional speaker magnet. And um, what I've done with this one is I had a really small diamond blade. It almost looks like a tire or something, but I put grooves in it. It actually changes around the shape of the of the field instead of just being a real flat field. And then this is a neodymium ring that I put uh, multiple poles on just by etching the surface. So. 